Hello everyone. Today is um, February 11, 2023. It's uh, midday on Saturday uh, and I wanted to review the markets once again for you guys and uh, and also for me to get a, a, a good understanding on, of uh, of what is going on and, and, and uh, how do I see the next week to go through. So let's uh, start with uh, SPY uh, and the weeklies. We are uh, on the 11th, so what, what we see is that uh, there is a le level here, 410 on SPY, that it's kind of uh, serving as uh, some uh, resistance. It tried to, went to go uh, through last week, but this week actually rejected it and, and came back down. You can see that one also in the monthlies. Uh, so let me get uh, there so you see um uh that uh this uh, level here 41404 is uh is the uh, 50 percent retracement and it's serving as a um as a resistance in the uh in the in the monthly so it it tried to what goes goes up but uh you know came came back down still the the bar is green but um but uh, it's it's kind of failing at this point in the weeklies uh we see that um the the it it ended up like a small dodgy there um so we'll see uh, how how it it goes um how it goes uh in into into the this next week now in the dailies um it it came back down and i'm gonna i'm gonna switch to this to this one here to for you for me to show you uh, something that it's that I think that it's very important. Uh, it tried to go uh, go up there. Actually, we did have a really nice uh, green candle right here, but then we had an inside uh, uh, bar uh, in the next day. So this one here, uh, let me let me expand it a little bit more. So this one here, it's an inside bar, and then broke to the downside, and then moved below the moving average. So this is the second day that it closed uh, below the uh, ten uh, simple day moving average, and uh, and and that is probably not a good sign. Also, if you see here, there is a uh, two red arrows on the MACD and the stochastic, which is not a good sign either. So I would go defensive now. And, and you know, if you check the uh, description, there is a link to uh, the the blog. Um, and I'm putting there that I that I consider that one defense, the, the, this one defensive. Why? Because I, I measure this M M MFC. I'm, I'm gonna uh, probably move this indicator to to my other chart but uh, you you see that one there so it's still in the upper zone but it's pointing down to the it, it's pointing uh to the downside now so uh we'll see if it's going to cross it's at eight eighty point seventy five two green two red arrows uh in the macd and the stochastics but also uh the the uh, uh, mfc is uh or the market forecast the intermediate line is pointing down for me that it's a uh, defensive i wouldn't say what what <coughs> give me the bearish uh posture <coughs> still with this coughing so um what gives me this uh, more bearish uh, posture is that now we have here a uh, a a uh, resistance and this one probably is going to trigger some um lower uh, side the uh, lower lower down or low, lower move to the downside um okay so let's uh, move that this one out of the way so that would be spy um let's see on uh, qqq uh, we do have a doji here which could be a continuation also we do have red arrow here and there so that one is not uh, good news and also if you see the um the um, market forecast on this one it's also moving to the downside again i don't know if i was clear but uh, if you check the link there is a uh, or the description there is a link to the blog and i uh, put there that uh, I'm, I'm 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 defensive on uh spy and qqq or SPY basically. So um, let's uh, look at uh, diamonds. Diamonds is in the in also 
triggering red arrows here and also uh, um, it's uh, it's uh, in a sideways uh, move or, or channel right here so it's kind of like not doing that much in that area IWM also they made a gave gave a very nice uh, green um, um, a very nice green um, candle uh three days ago but uh, you know you had to be careful because there was a green a, a red arrow there and it was that the, the next day moved into the um um a bearish momentum crossing to the to the downside also in uh in in in, 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 in uh in macd um, and then two days, consecutive days, closing below the uh, 10 days moving average. So now I, I would say it's si sideways. It is in consolidation after, you know, giving a higher high and then and then uh, probably is looking for a higher low. It hasn't found it yet. And I would say that probably this one would be the next uh, level uh, when we sh when we could uh, turn um, uh, more bearish here. This one would be... I believe that 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 could be a a pivot uh, low. Uh, there is also some pivot here. I wouldn't. Uh, there's no two bars uh, to the left. So I would say that this one, this one would uh, would be the next um, the next uh, uh, pivot to to face on IWM. Um, okay, so let's uh, check ES uh, ES. It's also moving well, very similar. It it is SPY. <coughs> it is SPY now. What this one gives was was a reversal the, the, uh, on the last day of trading. So you see that I have forty eighty um, marked here. Uh, just it was uh, below this candle, and then uh, it it went went up and went down, and then moved up, moved back up. Uh, Trying to to respect this uh, this trend line here. Now, in the in the big picture, we are still moving to the upside. So sometimes, you know, what happened is that when you have a downtrend, when you have a downtrend like in this case here, uh, and you have several um, um, touching points uh, underneath, then it finally crosses. What happened is that it comes back comes back there and then and then touches that uh, line and then moves up and and if you see this line here this uh this uh channel here you see that we are in an uptrend since uh since uh um, october so it is potentially this one is going to it's it's going to look down and then and then um you know face some resistance and potentially goes uh, can go up in in the in the short term uh, look 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 up, uh, uh below here because so we do have two green two red arrows uh this is very very defensive and in the um in uh, the MACD actually we are below 80 so we are at 70 79.28 not a good sign so I would say that it's uh that it's uh, bearish now let's uh, look at um well in Q we, we looked already QQQ but uh, let's uh, look at uh, gold um gold uh, started to to behave uh, really bad uh, starting around this area here you see that and in, in, in several videos i said you know that uh, you have to be careful on that uh, on that um, channel right here formed by this tool and then uh, you know went there touched touched and then then i started to monitor this high this is not this was not a good uh, a, area to buy um a, just because of that uh, of that line in even if if we uh, paint this one here right it's a little bit extended off of that uh, those two highs right here so if you connect that high and this high here then the projection is is there that now it started to move uh, up and then oh, i think that at that point it was exhausted and then came back down so the, it was a really nice move from this 
triple uh triple bottom right here move to the upside and now it i think that it's uh you know potentially coming back to to lower to 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 more lows here if 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 i i painted this channel um it's a, a much narrower one but uh, you know if if the move continues going going down there's a good a uh, good area of support at this level here <laughs> And then we can we can probably look for um we can probably look for lower lower lows right here. It's already there. there it, it it made a um a bear flag right here, which I took advantage of on the on the short uh, on the intraday. If uh, let me see, let me paint it here, so you see that there is um. There is here a bear flag, and then when it broke, that one there moved a little bit to the downside, right at that at that level. So that one was a a um, a a good trade. This one here was also a really good trade, uh, right when the when it broke below um, that that uh, support area made made on the on the opening ra uh, day range. Um, that one was a really, really nice, nice trade right here. Okay, so um, yeah, I, I, so two, two, two red uh, arrows. Uh, momentum is is down. <clears throat> and look at the MFC, the 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 intermediate uh, market forecast. So it's already down below uh, um, uh, the the fifty. So the, so. Is still still bearish. We'll see what what is going to happen. And then crude, crude has started to move up, and now we see that there is a it it, it, it actually not, nothing really uh, off of this range. It's still uh, you know in in this um, weird area. Um, it, it, it potentially it's it's going to try to visit this uh, this upside again. Um, and there was some good opportunities in here to take advantage of when first one when when it crossed this um this uh, uh two lines right here this one here and then this one uh this one here so that one is a good sign uh that that it was going to move to the upside so you do have um you know that that break and then price move there made a, 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 a bull flag and then move to the upside again so um good thing on crude is that uh that you have uh green arrows here and if you see the market forecast in here you see that there's a nice volume right here but also you do have continuation of this uh, low uh low 20s so it's pointing up it's it's not very bullish uh it to be bullish we need to be um, you know closer or above 80 but uh, we are um we are uh, sideways to bullish i would say in the short term we are we're sideways to bullish i i, I would i would point out that um then uh, the end this one here um really didn't do that much after after um i'm gonna modify this one a little bit i'm gonna activate the fibonacci level uh sorry i'm gonna activate this one i'm gonna put it there already failed the uh, 23 percent so and then bad news for this one it's a red arrow red arrow and then another confirmation of a red arrow so it it's moving down um and the market forecast is actually you know confirming this move to the downside there so i would stay away or i would uh, you know trade shorts on 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 a uh, zn ub same thing um you have red arrow and red arrow and then you are below the moving averages as well. Let me see this one. Yeah, we're below the moving averages. And then you have a cross on the moving average right here on on the end. So the the thirty the the ten is below the the thirty, which is not a good sign. Okay. 
so um yeah so that that would be markets um let's uh, look at sectors uh you have xle and they are organized by percentage of uh, of change so um xle <coughs> Move, moving moving sideways to up um there is a one green arrow here in the stochastics and nothing yet in the um in the um in the magd um excel excel u utilities below below uh two red arrows is still um you know bearish a little bit defensive um <clears throat> healthcare is actually moving down you do have you know slightly going down like like surely but steady so there, there's no signs that it's going to to break to the upside yet yet so it's kind of like for me it's kind of, it's it is still bearish xlp um you know red arrow red arrow uh xli same thing so the market doesn't really look look that nice um you you have a failure on on xlb uh basic materials it was it was uh moving moving higher try to break that that uh this high here let me get uh so uh try to break that that there to to move to the upside and it was kind of like a, a, a this candle here was indicating that the move was going to continue to the upside but it actually failed and came back down now we are uh, facing some some uh good resistance to the upside uh, moving up above the 8436 and then financials <clears throat> financials is uh you know defensive as well you do have to um magd and and um magd and uh, stochastics moving down and uh, price is not really confirming but it's it's actually back in the channel right here so um so we'll see if it if it can move again to the to the upside real estate um we had here a uh, channel moving down and then it was recovering i'm gonna put another channel here um to the upside i'm gonna connect this high with that high there or this uh, high here and then i'm gonna connect it there <coughs> <clears throat> still in the in the upside so what what could happen is that this one could recover however not 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 there yet we are defensive in here too uh red red and red uh, we we still haven't we do have two if you see here we do have two one uh, one two and three closes below the um 10 day uh, the 10 moving average which is that uh, line green line there so that is not good news we are consolidating here so no it is not the time to to go long yet uh x uh, xlk another red red so be careful uh xlc you know that one is uh, moving down i've completed the gap but then continued moving down and then if we see this um this channel here or this uh, trend line here it broke the trend line so it's uh it's um you know i wouldn't i wouldn't be that surprised uh, surprised if this one come comes ba back down either even lower and then lastly xly consumer discretionary which is kind of like the same situation uh red red and then um uh, this one here on the MACD, on the uh, on on this um, uh, MFC intermediate, it's uh, below uh, eighty, so which is seventy five forty seven. Not not a good sign, and it's defensive uh, also. Um, okay, so um, 
so yeah that that's my take on on here there uh, there are some uh let, let's look at this uh, where do we still have time yeah we're 20 minutes only so let's review what's ha what happened with the <coughs> with with the uh, large co uh, companies <laughs> i'm gonna organize this by um by um sign by um uh, percentage of change on on this last day and we do have apple apple is the one that uh, moved above but still we do have red arrows here um so there's some resistance here forming a bull flag i would say but uh but um you know there's a some good resistance here i wouldn't be that that um um happy about that move so let's uh, see uh, microsoft microsoft also red candle right here first a green a, a red arrow um and then this one is moving down so not really that bullish in here google <clears throat> came back down and this one is is nasty this one you do have one uh we have uh crossing below the moving average at 30 and then crossing below the macd or or macd negative and then stochastic as well and then you see we do have um google moving uh down here and also in the mfc <coughs> market forecast intermediate line it's also pointing down and uh in 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 and moving down um um amazon same thing now this one we have two two red arrows and then uh you have we're uh, just above uh moving the the moving average we'll see what is going to happen here so everything is going to depend on the news this this next week which is um you know cpi is in the in the in the calendar so we need to 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 see what what is going to happen here now this one meta meta you know uh, started to to top right here there was some good resistance up at this level now it's moving it's moving and it probably is going to try to fill this gap right here um macd uh or a, a stochastic is moving down and macd is about to cross uh a mfc <coughs> in intermediate is um in the intermediate line mfc is at 82.26 but it's defensive so we'll see what 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 it will uh, do um nasty nasty move on uh netflix on uh friday move uh below the 30 and then you know the, you you could probably project this one and or at least be defensive looking at this uh a macd and stochastics as well uh nvidia um there in nvidia there is there is uh a news and it seems that uh you know these companies uh they are they are creating some uh reaction by an announcing um uh, layoffs uh so they 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 the people people or investors were happy that uh that uh, people are getting laid off because of poor results on on these companies okay any anyways tesla tesla i i you know this one it's uh it's not uh looking looking for me it doesn't look good i i do have this uh um <coughs> sorry I, I do have this um uh um Fibonacci levels uh, uh painted here you do you you i i painted from this this uh low to this uh, triple top right here right and then it came back down to visit there uh, uh, moved moved back down and then uh, hit the 200 at the lower level of uh at, at the low level too so so 200 uh, level down there then the the um the earnings came and then and then it started to move up but look at where it is stopped right there at uh, at the zero level so for me and uh I, I i could be wrong but for me this one is a nice level of resistance 
I think that the, this one could uh, could come even lower than that. So I don't I don't think that we are going to go beyond two hundred. <clears throat> we could go. We can go sideways um, until we reach this level again, and then from there fail and go to the to the downside. That's what I would uh, what I would uh, think that this one is going to happen from what I see. But uh, there is uh, also an area of uh, consolidation right here, right? So. Um, this one here, it's kind of like a, a really tough level and it could go down on Tesla. So be careful with that one. All right. So again, um, this one is the, uh, the, the big, uh, the big uh, uh, boy, um, SPY. So um, doesn't look good. Um, so red arrow, red arrow here, um, failed, came back uh, down and closed uh, two. To um, two times below the uh, 10, and I would say that there is some area of consolidation in this level. If not, it's it could come even lower. <coughs> All right. So thank you so much for watching, and see you next time.